For centuries, education equaled ex-cathedra teaching in a classroom. Students then processed the new knowledge individually at their desk. Today's learning is hybrid, and it's everywhere. Some learning takes place individually, some in group. Some learning happens in face-to-face -face settings, some online. It can be a combination of learning in small groups, watching video lectures or tutorials, participating in discussion fora, co-writing reports, learning from an expert in apprenticeship, following an online course, playing games, discussing subjects on Facebook or LinkedIn, tweeting on a specific subject, collaborating online, etc. But what are students actually doing when learning in autonomy? How do they learn? And do they use learning resources as intended by the course designers or teachers? So what if teachers could look over their shoulders and get an overview of their learning progress and performance and give students feedback on how they're doing? What if learners could see a report of their own learning actions and have those validated? What if they could see other students' progress and learning strategies and learn from each other? This is what learning analytics is all about. It consists of collecting data about learners in their context, measuring and analyzing this data, and understanding and optimizing learning and the environment in which it occurs. Most schools and universities use a learning management system, or LMS, to share learning resources, communicate about the program with teachers and students, share time schedules, and handle administration of learning. But not all learning takes place in an LMS. We use a large diversity of tools and learning environments. When we use the internet, we leave traces by allowing cookies or by giving systems access to our user data, such as time and location. The same goes for online learning. We leave a trail of learning activities and results of learning. These learning logs are saved to a server. The data can then be analyzed with statistical and data mining techniques, and the results can be fed back to educational institutions, instructors, and learners in the form of graphs and learning dashboards. The European Vital Project collects and analyzes data from different language and maths courses in three European countries. To compare the learning data from different learning contexts, the project builds on the Experience API specification. The XAPI learning technology specification accounts for all kinds of learning. Very diverse learning activities in many different applications can be described, recorded, exchanged, and accessed. And any learning event which happened anywhere and any time can be registered. According to the XAPI specification, a learner's activities are logged in activity statements. Statements consist of an actor, a learner, a verb and an object, and optionally a result and a context. With this vocabulary, very diverse activities can be tracked, including many details about the learning context. Statements are sent to a common learning record store, in this case, the open source learning locker. An LRS is an archive that can receive, store, and share learning data. Learning actions and experiences by a user in XAPI supported learning environments can be combined and accessed in the LRS and analyzed flexibly in the LRS, in an LMS, or in any reporting tool. When conclusions from the data analysis are reported and visualized in a dashboard, students can see whether they're on track and whether they're getting better grades. They can also compare their results with their peers and check if they're missing anything. They become more aware of their learning process and learn to better plan their learning. Teachers can follow up how their students are progressing, which parts of the course they experienced as difficult, where more feedback is needed, which students are at risk, which interventions are needed, where the course needs to be improved, etc. For more information about the VITAL project, check out our website.